Hey loves, welcome into the channel. Y'all, my left ear is ringing out of nowhere. Just wanted to let you guys know that. Maybe some of you guys have been experiencing some ringing in your ear. Um, I wasn't going to get on and read today. I was going to save Mother Isis messages, which I still am. I'm going to save them for tomorrow. And the ancestor messages, they will be premiered tomorrow. Um, I have not recorded them yet, but today I just was like, let me just jump on and... I don't know, I just felt it. I felt it, okay? Um, I just felt it. I was like, let me just get on here and read and see what I can see for us. Today, you guys, I did record a reading um, as I had to go run an errand and I did a little ride reading. But you guys, I'm recovering <laughs> once again. <laughs> I'm recovering from some type of illness. And it's like, I could see it all in my face that I just did not, I just did not look or feel up to, you know, the best. And I still don't. But um, I was like, you know, let me just record. And I did, but instead of posting it, you guys, I'm just going to take the notes that I have from it and talk to you guys about those. And then we're just going to kind of just take it easy and see whatever the divine wants to discuss this evening, being really gentle with myself, respecting my boundaries right now, um, because I'm not hundred percent well. Okay. Um, it's like sickness has been trying to hit me <laughs> every weekend. I don't understand what that's about, but I rebuke that in the name Okay, in the name, I rebuke it. Y'all, I had a channel song come through today. Um, and that channel song, it is called, um, oh my God, why did I just forget? Hold on. <laughs> the channel song, it was called, oh my God, I really did forget. Hold on, y'all. I got to pull it back up in my phone. Hold on, y'all. Let me pull it up. Cause I straight up was driving back home and this song just popped in my head and I was like what let me look up this song so the song is titled the best okay well what is really titled let me see what it's really called yeah the best is yet to come and it's by Donald Lawrence okay and so I pulled it up on my phone on the ride home and I listened to the song and it was basically saying that you ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come. Um, God is about to make it all worth it, okay? Like, everything you've been going through, like, God is about to make it all worth it, okay? Um, so, in the read that I did earlier, a few things came up. Let's touch, touch on those points real quick before I move forward. Something about your tiger's eye could be significant, okay? Um, because that came up in the reading, and also um, the fact that God has been clearing out some energy, okay? He's been clearing energy um, and he's making room for new energy that came through um, in the ride along read that I did. And also um, the fact that your energies have been upgraded, okay? Wow, the fact that this Queen of Wands is showing through is crazy. Y'all, I was just sitting on my porch and Biscuit, my cat, came outside with me. And I always, when she sits a certain certain way at my feet, okay? Let me show y'all this before I, well, I'm going to pull the Queen of Wands out. But when she sits a certain way at my feet, all right, it lets me know like, oh, I'm in, I'm in my energy. I feel it, okay? It's weird because there's certain positions, and this is one, that she got in. She sat right at my feet this evening. She's right here right now, as a matter of fact, playing with her scratch toy. So if you hear that noise in the background, that's my biscuit. But um, anyway, it's this vibe where, yeah, you get some Queen of Wands energy. Something about Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be significant, okay? Um, but the divine was like, look, um, your energies have been upgraded, okay? Your energies have been upgraded. It's weird because anytime I go through like a really big upgrade with the divine or spiritually, um, I, I get ill. Okay, I get ill, motherfucker. I'm ill. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to. <laughs> I had to. Lil Wayne came through right then, motherfucker. I'm ill. <laughs> Shout out to Lil Wayne. Okay, I don't know what zodiac he is. I know he's not a Sag, maybe a Leo or something like that. I, he's got to be a fire sign. <laughs> maybe he's an Aries or I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I had to. 
Um, but yes, your energies have been upgraded, okay? And um, it's a vibe, okay? And um, God also told me that he is currently meeting your enemies with brutal force. The word brute stuck out in the ride along that I did. Like I kept saying brute, brute, brutal. And I was like, okay, brutal force. So he's meeting your your an, your enemies, <laughs> your enemies. Oh, it's like he and your ancestors are meeting your enemies with some brutal force. Okay. So that's the energies that came out in the ride along. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the read. Okay. And I'm just going to be real gentle with the energy because I ain't even trying to go that hard right now. I'm just really trying to chill. Um, I'm just enjoying my evening. I got a little sip and I'm just chilling. Okay. I'm just recovering and chilling. So let me just see if the Lord will let me just stick my toe in the water. Okay. And just see what's going on. Cause <laughs> it's that type of vibe. Like, Lord, let me just, let me just, let me just stick my toe in it. Okay. What's going on? Thank you angels and spirit guides for clear and precise messages. It's funny because only this card turned this way and I'm being drawn to it. So Death and rebirth. Something about Scorpio energy could be very significant. Okay, an end. There is an ending here. It's it's a pretty big ending. Okay, it's pretty big closure. Okay, it's pretty much over. All right, three of swords, the ten of wands, the death and the rebirth. Yeah, this is over with. Okay, um, whoever you are that I'm speaking to, you're highly enlightened and you are emotionally stable. Your emotions are in check, okay? Whoever you are, like, you don't move off a of triggered energy. And even if you are triggered, you still don't move off that energy. It's something about you that's very disciplined confirmation because I looked at the card at the bottom of the deck. It was the King of Cups and the King of Cups just popped out, okay? I hope y'all could see what I peeked at at the bottom of the deck. I peeked at the King of Cups that was at the bottom. That's what let me know. Like, you are emotionally stable. You are not the type of individual that moves off of triggered energy because you're very disciplined, highly enlightened, okay? The seven of pentacles is here. I feel like there were some type of delays or obstacles that you could have been facing. I feel like those are those triggered energies, okay? But it's a vibe where, like, you're not moving off of that. The the enlightenment that you per pertain, I don't know if that's the right word I'm using right there, but... The enlightenment that you have, it's like you're you're above that energy, and not in the in an egotistical way or in a way to be snobby or nothing like that. It's just like that shit is beneath you. Like you've already climbed those hills probably two or three times, and it's like you already know what being triggered is. You already know like you know better. When you know better, you do better. And I feel like you're the type of vibe that knows better and you do better. I feel like you, you take your challenges and you transform them. You're one who is very good with alchemy, with transforming the energy. King of Swords, we ain't telling no lies here. You're very honest as well. I feel like people see you as somebody who is respected or valued, okay? Um, your thoughts, something about what you think. It's like you're thinking on another level. You're thinking on another level of consciousness. You're on a whole nother wave of frequency or vibration. It's a vibe where you're just like, that's you on just a chill day. On a chill day, you like, I see the bullshit. <laughs> I see the bullshit, but no thanks, okay? Me not entertained, okay? You're not entertained by the bullshit. You're like, no, no, I'm not giving my power away to that. Yeah, I could go in there and raise hell. Yeah, I could go in there and do this. I could do that. Rightfully, I could. Because when there's something, it's like you rightfully could raise hell about something. But it's like on the inside, you're like, I can do so much better if I don't raise hell. And if I just continue to stay in my power and be strong about it, then I win in the end anyway. It's like, why well, give my power away? I'm way more powerful if I use it in a whole nother way. There's a situation, whoever you are, viewer, you've been facing and you're like, maybe you've been done wrong. There's been some form of injustice, okay, as it relates to these obstacles or something that triggered you or upset you. And you're like, look, you know, I could go about it this way or I could go about it that way. And I feel like the mature you is the one that's uh, in control. The mature you is like, look, we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth it. And at the end of the day, I know how to outsmart my enemies. So what I'm going to do is, 
I'm gonna handle them this way. And at the end of the day, by handling them the utmost way, the admirable way, the honorable way, then what happens is you win and you win a bigger bonus, a bigger bag than you do if you stoop to their level and deal with them on their level. See, Chosen, we're not on their level. <laughs> we're just not. We're not on their level. And so that's why the reward and the harvest that we reap isn't something that they can understand. We leave people in an energy of like, how did they do that? How did that go in their favor? Well, I did I did everything to tear them down. How is it that they're still winning? How are they winning? How? Like how? It's that type of a vibe, okay? And with you, that's what your energy says. Your energy says, I'm in control. The King of Cups is in control of his emotions. The King of Swords is in control of his thoughts and his mind. And then it's a vibe where he's a wise decision maker. So whoever you are that I'm speaking to, you're very wise, very disciplined. And I feel like you, you take your time to really handle situations that may have you in the nine of wands where really you could go to war. You know what I'm saying? You could really go to war. But the will of fortune is here and it lets you know, you know, there's a smarter way to do it. Seven of Wands, especially when you're when you're battling the enemy, right? When you're when you're battling somebody who's closed off or blocked or just not able to really understand you, not really able to like they, they underestimate you. This is an energy that has underestimated you, but they underestimate you because they think that, they, that you will stoop to their level. They think that they can trap you into thinking the way that they think, but they can't. And then they're left to sit in their own toxicity trying to figure out, wait, what was it? What happened? Wait, how, what? Huh? What? Which way did he go? Okay, which way did he go? And they can't figure it out because they don't know your next move. They don't know. They don't know because they've never thought king of swords to the level king of cups of enlightenment or consciousness that you think on you know you think like you know what i'm thinking about yes in the present okay this is what i need done but in the future i don't need it to bite me in the ass so you make decisions that are very wise very mature um so that you can get what you need or be vindicated or justified um when questioned later on like well okay so you did this and this is why oh yep and that's why you did that okay that makes sense okay with the strength card so whoever you are you're very strong very very strong you have a strength about you that is unrecognizable um you have a strength about you that is transparent it's like once people see your logic they connect with your logic. They're like, oh, I see why you did it that way. Oh, that made sense. Oh, it made sense. These people tend to react out of their ego. Um, and then, you know, they pay for it later on. But the way you move, you're like, yeah, no, I'm not going to pay for that now or later. Matter of fact, you're going to pay for it, okay, now and later, okay? Now or later. Who's eating now or later? <laughs> anyway, Queen of Wands is here. Okay, I don't want to lay these cards out. Let's go ahead and go down. So we got the Queen of Wands, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Emperor here. We have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Two of Wands. Okay, what is that giving me? That's giving you leveling up, actually. People fear your level up. They fear, the, they fear your next move. They fear it. They're like, oh my God, what is she about to do next? What is he about to do next? Okay, um, so not only are you highly enlightened and in control of your emotions, but you're extremely wise and then you're in control. And so you know what move to make to make it be your best move. It's like you move where it's like my next move is going to be my best move. And I see that's how you're taking action here with the three of wands. It's like that's where you're going. People fear that about you. They hate that and fear it and respect it all at the same time. It's like, I hate this motherfucker, but I'm scared of him, so I respect him. It's that type of a vibe. <laughs> thank you, angels and spirit guides. And how, in case I haven't called you in yet to the reading, thank you, angels and spirit guides, for being here. Thank you for your guidance. Most high, thank you for clear and precise messages. So we have you here wrapping up a cycle. Okay, there's a new cycle of life that's getting ready to start for you. OK, um, I'm going to read these energies up and down and across in just a minute. But let's let's finish out pulling out the cards to get the gist of the story here. 
for my viewers thank you angels and spirit guides what other messages do we have you got you receiving this good old justice i love to see the justice card come out okay i love seeing that card come out because it lets me know that all is well in the end okay and i feel like that's your goal anyway you're not the type that's trying to get over on anybody but you do command and demand respect and respect is what you shall receive okay um, it's that type of a vibe because of your energy, the way you have been moving, okay? With the Four of Pentacles, somebody could have tried to break from you, thought they was getting over, thought they was playing you. But uh, just judgment is here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that means um, mm -hmm. somebody's calling time. Somebody's uh, hitting the etiquette bell. Ancestors, I hear you, okay? Let me go and ding it one time. Oh, yep, etiquette, okay? Uh, order in the court, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's about the size of it. So let's see what had happened. So what had happened was um, we had something come to an end, okay? Looks like somebody's trying to cause you some type of obstacles, slowdowns, delays, okay? Um, but it ain't God. You know what I'm saying? It ain't God. This ain't this ain't God's work right here. God is like, I didn't do this, babe. I didn't do this to you. Okay. With the seven of wands, though, he's gonna give you all the power that you need. Um, he's going to give you all the energy that you need to be able to defeat whatever this monster or this demon or this darkness is okay with the queen of wands you're fully in control fully empowered okay um, as a matter of fact you got a wand okay and it's lit all right um you could be considered very lit like something about you could be lit right now okay like i don't know i am by Zella bella the channel is lit okay like we growing like out of control insane right now like the channel is lit all right we litty over here all right um we got the three of wands so we have a doorway that's open for us all right so the three of swords, it's a vibe where like somebody tried to like underestimate you, like somebody was like trying to come for you or thought they could do something that was unjust to you. Right. But like you're too wise for that. Like you probably already saw this shit coming. You was like, I can call this out. I know who did it. I know who's behind it. I know who the devil is. You're like, I know the hand that the devil played in this situation. Although they think you don't know, but that's okay. We're going to let them think that, right? Because that's basically how it is. They try to underestimate the chosen all the time. We got the eight of cups here. So we have you like, okay, cool. You want to play devil? All right, fine. I tell you what, you play, but I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go above you, okay? I'm going to go to my daddy. I'm going to go to my father. I'm going to go to who it counts, who matters, okay? And at the end of the day, the world card, there's going to be a new beginning for me, okay? For you, viewer. So we got the Ten of Wands here, okay? We lay that burden down. We like, okay, cool. This is over. Got it. Noted. Cool, okay? <laughs> Somebody could have uh, put you out or you could have been abandoned from a situation or you could have just been, um, you could have been, terminated you could have been let go you could have been whatever it's like somebody was like look take your shit how they say get your shit get your shit and get out okay somebody could have told you get out okay that movie is significant now we got the nine of wands here oh shit i just realized something oh damn they got another one of our men oh damn they got another one of our men. Oh, damn. They got another one of our men. That's all I'm going to say on that. I'm moving past that. There's something that I just realized on a personal level about a situation that I've been dealing with. Wow. The movie Get Out is very significant. Somebody's up to something behind the scenes, okay? Um, but you have this like barrier protection around you with the nine of wands. See, you got out, but you got out unharmed, unwounded, unscathed, right? You have the wands still, queen of wands energy. You still have, have, have another fight left in you, okay? They didn't knock the fight out of you, boo, okay? And they're trying to figure out how they didn't knock the fight out of you. They're trying to figure out how you're leveling up, okay? Uh, what, how, what, how, how is she leveling up? How the fuck? Okay, wait, what, what? We thought we ended her. No, the magic don't work on you, boo. Okay, somebody thought the magic would work on you. They thought that get out ass, have an ass magic would work on you, but it doesn't work like that on you. Okay, now it might have got our brother, okay, that we had to leave behind, but you know, he got to figure that out on his own. So we have the emperor energy here. Okay, we have you leveling up and we have you receiving justice. That's just point blank and the period. 
Now, this King of Cups energy and the Wheel of Fortune confirms the level up. You're not only leveling up in your career, but you're going to be leveling up on an emotional or spiritual level. Okay, so look forward to that coming in the near future. Um, we have the Strength card here. See, you are too strong for any type of Eight of Swords, anybody trying to keep you uh, beneath them or trying to do any type of spell to make you feel inferior or make you inferior at all. It's like, no, we're not doing that today. We didn't do it yesterday and we damn sure ain't going to do it tomorrow. And you want to know why? Because we are royalty. Okay. And it's that type of a vibe. So any type of bread pinching, bread crunching, bread crum crunching, bread crumbling, bread Bread energy, anything with bread, watch bread, okay? Something's going on with the bread, okay? I don't know. Take it as it resonates. But somebody tried to breadcrumb you. We we not falling for the okie doke, okay? So guess what we did? We went along with the release, okay? Release me, release my energy. That's cool. You want me to go release that too, okay? Um, but don't forget, run me my shit. <laughs> it's that type of a vibe. I'm just saying. Okay, and so let's go ahead and pull some Wonder Warrior information. Let's see what the Wonder Warrior has to say on the matter. Okay, let's just let's just see. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Okay, because whoever you are, yeah, you're smarter than the average bear. I feel like they've been able to get away with this on uh, many people other than you, um, many others because they didn't possess. The type of skill set you know in the movie taken he says i possess a particular type of set of skills okay and then that man said good luck and he hung up the phone and then uh liam nelson went after his ass found him killed him and his whole crew it's that type of a vibe so there's something not saying we're gonna go kill anybody because we're not on that okay let's be clear you two we're not on that that's not what we had said but we referenced a movie that talked about a particular set of skills my chosen people that you are in possession of you are in possession of a particular set of skills Okay, that the enemy, they, they, they can't so easily just, you know, overpower you or overthrow you or whatever they were trying to do. They can't possess you. Okay, get out. They can't do it. Okay, <laughs> they can't do it. All right, because you're much more smarter than the average bear. Okay, you're stronger than the average bear. All right, something about Goldilocks and the three little bears. All right, I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Mm. spiritual belt excuse me to confirm that though okay let's get some wonder warrior energy on it thank you angels and spirit guides what is the wonder warrior message for my viewers watching this reading that's just to read okay for someone who's smarter than the average let's see what we got well let's talk about at the bottom of the deck at the bottom of the deck we have i am eternal love this love this goddess energy okay you whoever you are you're currently um transmitting the energy of your inner god or goddess groovy ain't it i don't know okay some of our awesome powers baby Austin Powers. Where did that card go? <laughs> See how magical you are? You're making cards disappear. Where is the card though, for real? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Y'all see that? Okay, something about the magician energy is significant. Something about the energy of Gemini, okay, is significant. Also Libra and Aries. I see you. I see you. Scorpio, you already know what it is. Cap, I see you, Cap. Okay, I see you. All right, Aries, Leo, Sag, I see you too. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, I see you. I mean, shit, the gang's all here, okay? The gang is all here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what these cards say. So I'm going to take the first one that had half flipped over. And the first one, I'll be dang gone it, okay? The owl energy. We've been talking about the white owls throughout the, all of the sidebar LOLs this episode, um, this series. So basically... This owl energy is talking about inner wisdom, change, transformation, intuitive development, good luck, good luck, okay? And self-actualization. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm seeing you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, it says, have hope and keep the faith. I am divine heritage. See, something's going to fall like dominoes, okay? Something's going to be a domino effect here. Sunflowers are significant, okay? The cat energy is significant. All right. 
Um, it says ready to expand. I am poised. Powerful woman. Oh, baby. Let me tell you, this poised energy ain't nothing to play with, okay? That means you're in a position, okay? And you should be glad about being in this position, all right? What position are you in? <laughs> the Wonder Warrior position. It says, I am positive light and feedback, all right? Yes, you're getting back what you've been putting out, boo-boo. All right? It says pressure. It looks like you've been putting out that pressure, pressure. Okay, shout out to Ari Lennox. Okay, y'all not gonna let me read no more when I've been sipping, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep doing it anyway. Oh, <gasps> y'all, when y'all see the card that came out behind this one, y'all gonna know something. The fish spirit is here. It says live material from the depths of the personality relating to fertility and life giving powers of the maternal realms within us. Okay, the depths of the unconscious. And fish are the live material from the depths of the personality. Okay. So this is like authenticity at its finest. All right. This is like, you know, you're speaking your truth right here. All right. And I mean every word. Okay. Every word. Every word. Okay. It says, and the life-giving powers of the maternal realms within us. Yeah, this that fierce mama energy. This is like, <laughs> you shouldn't have played with my kids. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have played with my money. You shouldn't have played with my family. You shouldn't have played with my man or my woman. You shouldn't have played with me. You know what I mean? You shouldn't have did it, okay? Somebody, this is somebody's story. Anyway, it says, why confirmation? Because we not doing that. Okay, I am royalty. Yeah, this has been your read. I hope you guys enjoy. This is just a read for somebody who's not the average bear. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you next time. Bye.